Yeah, no, like the, the, the white clouds and the blue sky. It's a nice pairing. I do like it. I do like it. You know what? I think we should do that. Uh, the question then is, what do we do about the red that's already there? I think I'm gonna just change all of it in my own time again. <laughs> so, like after the stream, I'll just go and spend an hour or two replacing all the red with the blue. Anyway, for now, let's continue designing. So I guess I'd like do the designing on stream and in video and then the actual building I'll just do in my own time, or most of it at least. So then let's work on ideas while we're here and and live. Ah, keep breaking things. So if we imagine that all the uh, all the vaults are blue now, like this this blue. Now we need to consider how how the arch transitions into the towers in the corners. Like here, it's a little bit strange. Although maybe it's not like too bad. It's a little odd. Uh, I'm also thinking like glass curtain walls. You know, you should probably just build the tower in the middle too. Uh, before I get much further, you know what, let me just, no, no, let me do the arches, or like do the, do the uh, outside edge of the arches, and then build the top tower thing. And then glass curtain walls, and then the transition between the arch and the towers. And then I think that's pretty much it. I mean, there's also detailing and lighting and, and details afterwards, I guess. Okay, that's the plan. Let's try and remember the plan. I don't know, you know the, the, the Cavernade thing? I mean, I don't want to, like... It is an ongoing investigation. I'm just surprised that he performed so poorly, in my opinion. Like, he was just angry. <laughs> angry, shouty, alcoholic is how he came across. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why he would perform that way. It's, uh, it's not very convincing, in my opinion. <laughs> not a convincing performance from him. Alright, so imagine the blue is all across. The thing is, when a person gets angry, you know they're being defensive. Like they have something to, to defend, something to hide. Q says, yeah, he came across really badly, really answered any questions, and it's been proven to have lied, which is a federal crime in that case, I believe. Yeah, because he's under oath. It's just, I know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. Maybe he's just not a very good performer. Because, you know, when Clinton lied, he was very calm about it. Clinton is such a good lie. Remember Clinton? Like, I did not have sex with that woman. Remember that? Like, it was so calm and, like, so controlled. Of course he lied, but, like, Clinton was a great liar. <laughs> I... Anyway... God, Clinton was so good like that. I did not have sex with that woman. <laughs> Maybe it's for the best that Kevin is not a good liar. 
<laughs> I guess we don't want good liars to be Supreme Court judges. I'm just saying, it doesn't seem very convincing. Um, all right, let's get the front as well. So, anecdotally, I've been hearing that uh, a lot of other women have, or other like, not even women, also men, because like you know, sexual abuse is so often hushed up. But because of what's been happening, a lot of people have started talking about what's happened to them, men as well as women. And I feel like maybe that's a good thing. That <laughs> I mean. <laughs> It's, it's not really a... Uh... A silver lining, I guess, is what it is. That people feel like it's necessary to talk about this stuff. And that we should not hide it. So that's good. So, how many people have I known, have I known that have been sexually abused? That I know for sure. One, two, three... All women, by the way. Three... Are there any others? Uh, four? No, okay, that counts. Four... No, five. <laughs> okay, just from my, just from people I personally know, I can count five who have told me or who I know about have been sexually assaulted before. And uh, given that I don't have that many friends, I'm assuming that it's like at least 50%. <laughs> Of all people. And this goes from things as minor as someone just grabbing you on the ass in the street. So from that all the way up to like violence, severe violence. So it, it, the, the whole spectrum. And I, I'm the kind of guy who would ask. So in a way, like I, I kind of find out because I, I ask. Or, you know, if people tell me, I would listen to them. But, you know, just because you don't ask doesn't mean it doesn't happen. They just don't tell you, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> so uh, like sometimes I would ask, or if, if somebody suggests, then I would ask them to elaborate so that I can understand. Anyway, a lot. Just from the people I know, and I don't know that many people because I, I stay at home and play video games most of the time. Alright, so the middle tower here... I think we just keep it simple. It's just very common. And also, I think people don't talk about it enough. And in a way, if somebody tells me that they haven't heard it happen very much, I count it against them, to be honest. Because, like, my experience is, a, they, a person would not tell me if they don't trust me. <laughs> to to react 
they don't trust me to react correctly, then they won't tell me. And you know, I, I've had a good friend who just, who I knew had been assaulted and never talked to me about it. I mean, I, I didn't pry, cause you know it's. Q says, yeah, disturbingly common makes you think about thing regarding nice guys being fan zone, bad boys are liked, etc. It's ah, that's that's a lot of bullcrap. There's a although there's a part of me that thinks in some situations, not not generalizing or anything, but I think under some specific circumstances, someone might quote unquote friend zone you just because they're scared that you turn out to be a monster. <laughs> <laughs> like they'd rather have a good friendship than to find out that you're you're like a, a rapist <laughs> if they give you half a chance and that's not your fault that's just you know because it's happened so often <laughs> to people <laughs> that they're scared I think I've kind of had that happen to me before like I've, I've known someone who's gotten, repeatedly gotten into bad relationships. And and we were just friends. <laughs> like, I didn't mind just being friends. Like, I'm not the kind of guy who, who, like, is too concerned. But in the back of my mind, like, I feel like... I, I think she was in so many bad relationships that... She just... <laughs> decided to stay friends and, and not risk it. <laughs> and that's fine, like, it, just, it wouldn't be correct to try to push someone into a relationship if they don't want to be in one, right? So that's fine. No big deal. I think we keep it pretty simple here. Let's see what it looks like. But having said that, it's it's still a symptom of of the way things are wrong. That people would be scared to find out whether you or not you're a, a rapist. <laughs> It happens so often that they just assume everybody's a rapist now. Mm, I mean, that's that's not very good, is it? <laughs> All right. So assuming that's what we want to do, glass curtain walls. I'm thinking like glass curtain walls. Blue and white, glass curtain walls. A light blue stained glass or dark blue stained glass? Or cyan stained glass? Let's see what these look like. So if we say we just um, put the curtain wall one block behind the, the arch. Oh, Q, uh, in, in this episode of disasters that we are seeing with Kavanay and everything else, I was thinking, like, like, what are you supposed to do if somebody tells you they've been sexually assaulted? And I looked it up. <laughs> what to do if somebody comes to you for help? Uh, if you haven't considered it, uh, they need um, healthcare. Like, take care of immediate injuries. 
you need to collect forensic evidence in order to build a case against whoever assaulted you or, or them. You need uh, probably a lawyer, so you need to lawyer up. And you also need psychological counseling. And then financial support. Both short term financial support and long term financial support if they need to, like, you know, get a. find a different place to live or. get a different job or something. So those are the things that uh, are correct responses if somebody comes to you for help. <laughs> and And this is from international research. Q today, I read today that in the US you don't need forensic evidence, it's good enough in the court if the victim is credible. Sure, it's good enough, but it's better if you have evidence, Q, I'm just saying. I wouldn't rely on, on the courts. Like, if, if, you, if there is forensic evidence, then you should collect forensic evidence, is what I'm saying. I mean, it's, it, it'll be good if it is good enough, just to have a credible account. But I wouldn't trust it. I, I don't... I have zero faith in humanity, Q, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I, I, I don't... I don't trust it. <laughs> Alright, so... So there's the darker blue, there's the lighter blue. Let me try the darker, another darker blue and see how that looks. Oh, that's a, that's, I think that's too dark. Well, let me, let me just finish this and see what it looks like. Oh, and we don't want to cover the tracks, right? Not sure what we do about the edge of the track, but let's say we uh, end it there along those lines. I mean, evidence is not always available, so, you know, a case should not be dependent on having evidence. But as I said, if you have evidence, you have a stronger case, don't you? Isn't that right? That's what I would think. So why not just have the stronger case? And I say that, like, I, I talk about, like, what to do if somebody comes to your help, for, for help. Because, you know, in a lot of these stories, like, all these people coming out and saying, like, why didn't I report being assaulted? A lot of it is people responding wrongly. You know, like, they tell the family member, and the family member just tells them to go away and, and don't talk about it. Obviously, that's wrong. I mean, but then there's all this kind of talk about how people have been wronged. But not that many, not much talk about how to do it right. <laughs> I mean, it's one thing to to know what's wrong, it's a, it, but it's more useful to know what's right. Sometimes, anyway, that's why I looked it up. Uh dark blue, light blue, middle blue. I think the middle blue might be the best. The light blue kind of blocks too much. And it alters the, the red too much. The dark blue is too dark. Alright, I'm going to assume that uh, the, light, the middle blue is the best idea. So let's go glass curtain wall around all the sides. 